Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by Joe Massey, our Walsall correspondent here at the Express and Star. And the big news coming out of Walsall last night was John Whitney has been sacked. Joe, you obviously had the inside track. You were at the post office sending him his commiserations card before the news broke. I was at the post office when the news broke, that is right. Yes, Got the call true. and rejected it. That's how on the pulse I was. Mm. But yeah, we found out in the end that John Whitney uh, sadly was uh, sacked as Walsall manager yesterday. Yep. Um, initial reaction was one of surprise actually, I know um, he's come under an awful lot of pressure from supporters, fans wanted to see him go, there's no two ways about it, but I really thought he'd keep the job until the end of the season at least, I thought um, yep. maybe in the summer I thought they might have a, a sit down with John, there was issues earlier in the season, of course we know he had a meeting with the board following that FA Cup loss at Newport mm -hmm. County, so his position we, we always knew was uh, under severe, severe pressure, but yep. He is a manager that can get results. Um, he showed that just 10 days ago at South End. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a shock uh, yesterday for me personally. And yeah. I've got to say, on a personal level, really, really sad to see him go. Mm -hmm. Absolute smashing blow, John Whitney. He has given absolutely everything he has to make this job a success. Mm -hmm. He's been at the club for the past 15 years. He's been physio, he's been head of medical, he's been assistant manager, he's been manager. Every one of those jobs, no one could ever question John Whitney's work ethic. Mm -hmm. He has given it absolutely everything he, he possibly could. Cracking bloke, but there are reasons for his departure. There are reasons why the board have decided to act. Yeah. Um, one of those reasons is, of course, results. Results just simply haven't been good enough. He just hasn't been able to build a team that can get positive results on a consistent basis. Yeah. And the last 10 days are just so Walsall. It is yeah. unbelievable. They went to South End. They were brilliant. They were mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. Make no mistake about it. <clears throat> they won that game 3-0. South End at the time... They'd lost just three games at home all season. They were also unbeaten under Chris Powell. He had five games in charge. He hadn't lost mm -hmm. since he'd taken over there. Walsall did a job on them. Yeah. They were fantastic. They won 3 0. Southend barely had a sniff of their goal. Mm -hmm. Ostuma scored a hat trick. Three fully deserved points. Walsall should have been on, on the app. It should have been an upward trajectory from there. What do they do? They lose 3 0 at home to Rochdale. They lose 2 0 in the Derby to Shrewsbury. Yeah. They just, whenever they took a step forward, they took a step back. Mm -hmm. um, and that is probably, <clears throat> arguably, the, the biggest reason why John Whitney's gone. Another fact that this is a personal opinion is he said something a bit, he said something silly last week about, he said a, a line about crappy jobs. Mm -hmm. he, he's often in the past talked about the tough jobs he's had before he was a footballer or while he was a part time footballer yeah. in his playing days. He dug graves, he cleaned toilets, he worked in supermarkets, he's, mm -hmm. he's had some really tough jobs. John Whitney always described them as tough jobs, character building jobs. Yeah. Um, now, last week he said the word crappy, he knows he shouldn't have said it. He, he didn't mean that. A lot of people were offended. I can mm -hmm. categorically assure anyone that was offended, he didn't mean any offence at all. Yeah. John Whitney is just not that type of person mm -hmm. at all. He was just, it was just a poor, poor choice of words, poor phrasing. Yeah. But... It made an angry fan base angrier. Mm -hmm. um, and we saw that at Shrewsbury on Saturday. Of course, the Rochdale result played a factor as well. But I think those comments also played a factor. We had a Whitney Out banner at, at Shrewsbury on, on Saturday. And I yeah. think the results, together with the comments he's made in the press, have just come at a time when the storm is just too much. The atmosphere around the club is just too toxic. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, sadly, because I will repeat, he is a smashing bloke but John Whitney has been relieved of his duties. That's it. And now, I suppose the biggest <coughs> question for Walsall fans and, I mean, football fans in League One in general is who's going to be the man to step in and replace him? Yeah, well, it's this case of the king is dead long, long live the king, isn't it? As soon as Whitney yeah. goes, the books are open, bookmakers don't waste mm -hmm. any time, they immediately uh, start taking bets on who will be the next manager. Yeah. Front runners at this moment in time are two Walsall favourites, two former club captains, A.D. Vivash yeah. um, and also Dean Keats. Mm -hmm. Vivash is currently assistant manager at Coventry. It's just a temporary thing there. Yeah. Actual number two suffered a brain hemorrhage. He's recovered oh, right, from yeah. that, so he stepped in to help there. On paper, he is a very interesting candidate. Not only, of course, is he an ex-Sadler, he did fantastically well as manager of Chelsea's youth team. Lots of success. Lots of success. He won two youth FA Cups. He won two youth U UEFA leagues, I think is the mm. correct term. Something like that. Success in Europe, success in domestically with Chelsea's youth team. But 
what's really interesting for Saddlers fans there is he developed young players. Mm -hmm. he, he showed he could develop young players, which I think that's massive for Walsall on their budget. With the, they'd like to bring players yeah. through the ranks. That is a real big plus um, for Walsall, I think. So Vivash got to be seen as a really strong candidate. Mm -hmm. Dean Keats, former Walsall midfielder, doing fantastically well at Wrexham. Mm -hmm. he's, he's in his first managerial role, but they're fourth in the National League. They're in the thick of a promotion race. Another former Saddlers legend. So, and you think with the way the atmosphere is around the club, mm -hmm. the board must be tempted to bring back a former player because it yeah. really would boost the fans mm -hmm. um, who feel, are feeling disconnected with the club at the minute. I think that's fair to say. So yeah. a former player would really sort of boost that. Outside the two former favourites, Brian McDermott, the ex-Redden and Leeds boss, has been mentioned. And we also might see some big names being linked. Paul Ince is in the betting. Yeah. Um, Craig Bellamy had an interview at Oxford recently. Sol Campbell um, has been very public. He's desperate for a job mm -hmm. in the Football League. So, so it could be a big name heading to the Banks' stadium. It could be a former legend. Who knows? They might pluck someone completely obscure out. Um, Jeff Bonds, the chairman, has history of doing that in mm -hmm. the past. So, but, so we're going to have to wait and see. But it's still very early days. Personally, I don't think an appointment is close, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. I think, like I was saying about last week, I think that has escalated things a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the board were more looking at the summer to sit down with John and really assess where they were going to go in the future. So Ian Sharps, John Ward, currently in temporary charge. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes over the next few days. That's it. That's certainly very interesting. Of course, Whitney now is out of work. Where, where next for him? Do you think he gets another role in League One? Does he have to drop down the league? Does he... Does he even get back into football straight away? Um, I really, really hope this isn't the end of John Whitney as a football manager. I don't mm. think it will be. He certainly doesn't want it to be. He has yeah. ambitions to be a manager. He's done all his badges. I think there have been so many times this season, there might be fans that disagree with this, where Whitney has implemented a game plan very successfully, only to then be undone. Um, mm. as, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of many ex I can't think. I won't read off countless examples, but one example was Peterborough away mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Of course... That game will be remembered for the snow and everything that followed. Yeah. But the first half, for example, there was no snow then. But also implemented the game plan very, very well. They had Peterborough exactly where they wanted them. Everything was working. And then in, an individual mistake, it was from Nicky Devlin, unfortunately. Cost the Saddlers a goal. They went in at half-time, 1-1, when they should have been 1-0 up. Yeah. And I think also have, have an amazing ability to go in at half-time with a score that isn't reflecting of the game. Mm -hmm. It's incredible the way they do it. So there has been times Whitney has implemented a plan and on the field it's let him down. Yeah. It's happened too many times for it to be a coincidence. He's got to take the brunt for that at the end of the day. He has mm -hmm. taken the brunt for that. But it, he has shown many a time he's capable of getting results and capable of putting in some impressive performances. There have been some impressive performances as well in his tenure. You think of games at home, Sheffield United when they beat them last season, they absolutely yeah. thumped them. Scunthorpe this season was another impressive performance. Oxford away this season was sensational. So there is something there with Whitney. He can do it. He needs to do it on a more consistent basis. He knows that. But hopefully he will get another shot. It's, I think you'd have to say it'd be unlikely it'd be in League One, but maybe mm -hmm. League Two or the National League he get another crack at it and then from there maybe he could build his work or work his way back up. That's it. So fingers crossed John Whitney finds himself new work. But yeah, fingers crossed. <clears throat> but that's the big story coming out of Warsaw this week. For all the latest with that make sure you stick with us at expressandstar.com and follow Joe on Twitter for all the latest. Make sure you stay with expressandstar.com.